Hey, what's up guys? Will Gove here for GSM Arena. The new iPhone 17 series has come out with new software, Apple's iOS 26. So let's do a deep dive into the latest iPhone UI and see what it's all about and what's changed. No, you weren't sleeping for a few years. Apple's previous OS was iOS 18. They just jumped ahead with the name to match 2026, the year of implementation iOS 26 doesn't just bring some tweaks to the apps and features, it also includes a whole visual overhaul to Apple's new liquid glass design language. The new visuals permeate the whole OS, including the lock screen. The time widget will adapt to the space available on the screen, and if there's a photo background, it can come to life with a new 3D effect. After you get to the home screen, you'll notice that by default, the app icons are larger now, but this is all customizable. You can change their size go for a dark or a monochrome look, or even set up a specific tint for them. When you open up the control center, the new liquid glass design is more apparent. Many elements of it get a new see-through, bubble-like treatment with brightened borders. These highlights will even move when you tilt or rotate the phone, as you might imagine real reflections would. But it's worth noting that in the recent iOS 26.1 beta releases, Apple has been dialing down the liquid glass effects and giving users more control over them. Anyway, as before, the control center supports multiple pages and offers a bunch of different toggles and widgets. The notification center is summoned with a swipe from the other top corner, and this panel is the same as the lock screen we checked out earlier. And as before, you can hide specific home screens. You can't opt out of today or the app library though. The app library is the rightmost page, where you can find all of your installed apps organized into categories. The widgets have seen visual updates, and they can be stacked as before. The task switcher hasn't been changed. You see app cards, and you can swipe them for closure. You can also swipe on the gesture line to quickly switch between apps. Apple's dynamic island is also unchanged. It uses the spacer on the selfie cutout to display shortcuts and info for things like timers, music players, the phone app, and focus modes. Speaking of those, the focus modes are grouped settings that you can enable for different situations like work or sleeping, all highly customizable. Many specific apps are upgraded with a new look, and they have new features too. These include the communication apps like Messenger and FaceTime. But plenty of others have been revamped too, including the TV and music apps, Safari, Wallet, Maps, and CarPlay. The Safari web browser has gotten a new look with a semi-transparent toolbar that minimizes while you're scrolling. Maps has a new look, and it gets the ability to keep track of places you've been and even offer you alternative routes as you go on throughout your daily routine. Photos is redesigned with a new visual style and you get tabs to go between your library and collections. And any 2D photo can be transformed into a 3D spatial scene. There's a new feature called Vehicle Motion Cues. It gives you on-screen indicators when you're in a moving vehicle, which are meant to reduce car sickness. The camera has been reorganized to be less cluttered. There's quick access to photo and video modes, while other camera modes are tucked away, but accessible with the slide of a finger. And when you do get out the camera controls, they're grouped together on the screen, so it's easier to adjust your settings on the fly with one hand. The phone app has a new hold assist feature. If you're put on hold, you can just get the phone to notify you when a person is finally available to talk. The phone can also silence unknown callers and place those calls in a separate list to review later. And iOS 26 brings a new games app. It acts as a hub for all of your installed games. And through this app, you can connect with your friends, find events, compete in challenges, and explore new game titles to download. Another new app is Preview. It's an app dedicated to working with PDFs. You can sign them and edit them here, and even scan documents to create new PDF files. So what does iOS 26 bring when it comes to specific AI features? Siri still hasn't gotten the advanced AI functions that were teased when iOS 18 came out to act as an in-depth personal assistant across apps. For now though, Siri at least packs better integration with ChatGPT. Live translation has gotten an overhaul. It's integrated with the messages, phone, and FaceTime apps to translate conversations for you in real time. And visual intelligence lets you search for things that are on your screen, a lot like Google's circle to search. 
you first take a screenshot, and from there you can highlight text to search for online, to translate, or to extract for notes. Visual intelligence can also be used to translate something in real life. Just point the phone's camera at the text you need to decipher. One of AI's popular functions is proofreading text, and even generating text from scratch. And through Apple Intelligence, you get that here as well. And the AI also enables natural language search through things like the photo gallery. There are image generation tools through what they call the Image Playground, though it's now a standalone app that needs to be downloaded from the App Store. And don't forget AI-based editing tools. For example, the Clean Up function can automatically detect unwanted objects in your photos and remove them. So there you have it guys. iOS 26, with its liquid design, is one of the biggest software overhauls we've seen recently from Apple. However, while we do commend Apple for doing something fresh and new, there's still a few kinks to iron out and some rough edges here and there. Another gripe is that despite all these changes, there's no improvement in file management. It's still a hassle, either within iOS or via a computer. But overall, iOS 26 brings a fresh face to the iPhones, as well as plenty of tweaks to familiar apps. Did we miss your favorite feature? Let us know down below, and I'll see you on the next one.